Hello everybody, how are you today? I am doing a YouTube live and I am answering your skincare questions. Let me see where my camera is up there. Okay, I'll try and speak into the camera. Hello, if you have any questions, come on in, ask me some skincare questions. I have just posted out today a Instagram story and um, an Instagram little 90 second talking about skin that is oily with pitting and scarring. And I've listed a whole list down there what you have to do. If someone's oily, that means they have blackheads everywhere on their face, even inside the ear. And often with oil comes very, very large pores. So it's important to have extractions done keep the skin really clean, make sure you're using a cleanser that is super cleansing, but not, um, not too stripping because you don't want to dry out the surface of an oily skin. You want to keep the skin really clean, but not dry it out because if you dry it out, you end up with that dryness on the surface of the skin. Then what happens is oil can't get out and oil always needs to be able to come out so that it doesn't embed. Um, blackheads are made up of bacteria, dead cells and sebum. And when they embed, it stretches your pores. So, you know, if you've got dryness on top, oily underneath, because oil comes from un inside the skin, it doesn't come from outside, it comes from inside. So it's important to make sure that you're not drying the surface because it's not going to dry up oil underneath. So you've got to make sure you keep that surface soft and supple. Always got to keep it soft and supple. And that way you can, um, you can, you know, really keep the pore size under control. So that's super important. I have my heated blanket on here right now. And my bed is so hot and I'm feeling like, whoa, really uh, hot here with my heated blanket. For my clients, it's very sort of gray and dark outside today. So I have my blanket on for my clients today keep their back nice and warm um, so again I as I said I put something out on Instagram if you want to shoot on over there and have a look at the model that I put up um, you can see the pitting and the scarring you can see that she also gets pustules you know and painful nodules occasionally for that monthly time and so those painful nodules we know are always painful to the touch so if ever you get a pimple and it hurts when you touch it then you know that that is a hormonal pimple, okay? And that's, you know, people that tend to have a little bit higher testosterone levels will often get more facial hair and they're, they're prone to be more oily. So what happens and what comes with that is um, often these painful nodules, there's ruddiness around it, inflammation, infection inside, and those are very painful, as I said, to the touch. So, um, so we want to make sure that you are always kind of keeping the skin clean, be aware of the hormonal imbalances that happen with uh, an oily skin. And the other thing, there's certain foods that kind of can irritate and make hormonal acne worse. And they are foods like red meat, um, you know, egg yolks, a lot of things that contain hormones anyway from other animals. Uh, can make our own hormone levels high. Or if you're just somebody who works out a lot and you go to the gym and if you start pumping iron, you're gonna notice you're gonna start building that testosterone level. So that's why a lot of people, when they break out, um, once they start working out, it's because they start upping with weights. So cardio is different, but once you start pumping iron, you start building muscle, which I certainly need to do, um, especially more lately. Um, it's something that is really important to understand. It can build the testosterone levels. So that's something that's important and, you know, just to be aware of. But as you see, um, the model, in fact, I might put a picture of her face here um, in this video so that you can see we are talking about somebody that's really oily, blackheads everywhere, including inside the ear, large pores, pitting, scarring, and her name um, is Carol. She was a model that I worked with a very, very long time ago. So I'm just going back, recapping on some of this here. And, um, you know, you can absolutely see the results um, I'm going to release on Wednesday of her peel that we did and just how that refines the skin. Um, you've got to really take care of an oily skin. You know, you have to use a good cleanser that doesn't dry the surface, but it's got to clean. You've got to exfoliate the skin, something that has like a buffing effect on the epidermis, um, something that either has a papyrin enzyme, 
um, or an AHA and that's what really helps to keep your pore size small, cleans out those pores by absorbing dead cells. So those things are really important. So extractions, using products that are designed for oily skin. Um, you know, a lot of the time what people do, they make the mistake of really drying their skin out with all these drying preparation products. And then what happens is they use a moisturizer for a really dry skin. You can't do that. So when the skin is dry, it surface dry is a subcondition. Um, when a skin is oily, a skin type is oily, it very often gets dry on top, but that's just because you're not using the right products. So it's really important to understand that an oily skin type is always oily. Once you've got blackheads everywhere, they are, they, they're there to stay because blackheads keep coming back. But what you can change is the surface. You can change pore size, you can change scarring, you can change pigmentation. Um, these types of things are things we can change with great products. So my model skin is an oily skin type. Um, she's, you know, she really didn't have much surface dehydration at all. True oily skin, but she does have hormonal pimples occasionally, but bigger pores, scarring, pitting, as you'll see. Uh, and the best thing, you know, is a great cleanser, great exfoliation regimen, one that absorbs cells dead cells and um, and then you need those treatment products for oily skin so the K cleanser the Rejuvi K cleanser the healing gel the P normalizing cream the GAHA serum so she'd use the P normalizing at night and she'll use the AHA serum in the daytime with a little bit of her moisturizer and sunblock and that's an, a non comedogenic moisturizer it's important to exfoliate a couple of times a week for her she's very oily so the exfoliating mask was perfect for her we have that right over here exfoliating mask and then to use a purifying mask two or three times a week which is another product that I work with a lot in my regimens um, and that's something that she's doing a couple of times a week as well so that was really nice um, and then uh, as I said once we we did that on her we started feeding her skin once her skin wasn't quite as active with pimples we introduced to her some of the Q flavonoid just to start feeding it nurturing it because it was really starving of nutrients because she'd been drying it out so much and then we were able to go ahead and do a peel after we got her skin in good condition and again um, I'll put that picture up there so you can see the before and afters in, with that um, was really really pretty so I don't have any questions on here I cannot see any questions so I hope that that was something interesting for you today um, just learning about oily skin um, your skin type there are four oily oily combination um, combination dry and dry those are your four skin types and then you have all these subconditions that can happen as a result of climate your health how you take care of your skin uh, seasonally um, you know all of these things um, can affect the the outside of our skin but those are the things we can change so um, I hope this was helpful to you and um, as I said I'm going to put some blurby down in the description just if you have any more questions um, I try to get back I'm really good about answering all my questions on Instagram and I apologize I'm not as good on uh, YouTube but I do a lot on Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram, do flick over there as well and follow me on Instagram. So I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll be back to see you all again really soon. Bye everybody, bye-bye. <laughs>